Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this video, I speak about some common problems and solutions uh, when mushrooming bad mixes. So, but before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmushroom.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. It uh, really helps me to bring more videos. And now, let's get started. <laughs> Mastering a bad mix can be a challenging uh, task, but it's not impossible. Here are some common problems you may encounter when trying to master a poorly mixed track and potential uh, solutions to address them. Imbalanced frequencies. Problem, the mix may have frequency imbalances with certain frequencies being too loud or too quiet. Solution, use equalization to adjust the frequency balance. Identify problem areas and make precise adjustments to correct them. This may involve uh, cutting or boosting specific frequencies. Excessive compression. Problem, the mix might be overcompressed, leading to a loss of dynamics and a squashed sound. Solution. Use compression sparingly during mushroom. Try using multiband compression to control specific frequency ranges and set compression thresholds and uh, ratios carefully to preserve dynamics. Clipping and uh, distortion. Problem. The mix may have uh, clipping or distortion issues, resulting in unwanted artifacts. Solution. Use a limiter or clipper at the end of the mushroom chain to prevent clipping. However, be cautious not to overdo it, as excessive uh, limiting can negatively impact the mix dynamics. Muddy or boomy mix. Problem. The mix may sound muddy or boomy due to an excessive buildup of low frequencies. Solution. Use a cue to reduce low frequency buildup. Focus on cleaning up the low end to make the mix clearer. You can also use stereo widening techniques to create more separation. Harsh or shrill mix. Problem. The mix may sound harsh or shrill with excessive high frequencies. Solution. Use a cue to tame harsh high frequencies. You can also try using the ESA plugins to reduce sibilance in vocals and other harsh elements. Inconsistent levels. Problem. There may be inconsistent levels uh, throughout the mix, making it difficult to achieve a balanced and cohesive master. Solution. Use automation or uh, volume automation to even out levels where needed. This can help create a more consistent listening experience. Lack of depth and dimension. Problems. The mix may lack depth and special dimension, sounding flat or one-dimensional. Solution. Experiment with reverb uh, to add depth and dimension. Use stereo imaging tools to widen the stereo field and create a sense of space. Face issues. Problem. Face problems can cause uh, issues like a weak bass or cancellation of certain frequencies. Solution. Check for face issues using face correlation meter and adjust the face alignment, if necessary. Correcting face issues can improve the overall sound quality. Overused effects problem the mix may have excessive or poorly applied effects such as uh, reverb or delay solution evaluate the effects in the mix and consider scaling them back or adjusting their parameters ensure that 
the effects enhance the mix rather than detract from it. Communication with the mixing engineer. Problem. Sometimes the most effective solution is better communication with the mixing engineer to address underlying issues. Solution, if possible, discuss the mix problems and collaborate with the mixing engineer to make necessary adjustments before mastering. Remember that mastering can only do so much to fix a poorly mixed track. It's essential to strive for a balanced and well-crafted mix during the mixing stage to achieve the best results in mastering. If the mix is fundamentally flawed, uh, consider revising it, the mixing process, uh, to address the issues before mastering.